could make you see the part of Got something? Me. Check the phone yet? I'll send you some pictures. Check them out. No, let me check it out. I'm afraid your girl might be cheating on you with another guy. Afraid you might be correct. Damn it! I knew it! That's my Petra! I mean, how could she do this to me? You know what? I'm gonna take it really hot with her this time around. No, man. You have to take it easy. No, no, you stay out of this, okay? You stay out of this. Listen, listen. I know how much you love her. And I know how much this tears you apart. But did you see her in the pictures? Didn't you see how happy she is? What are you trying to say? I mean, meaning what? I buy her clothes, I take her for shopping, I do everything that a man needs to do. So what are you talking about? I mean, I don't get it. Listen, time. Are you giving her time? Answer me, are you giving her time? If you don't give her time, I know the guy will come and he will take your place. Bro, you know how time is important to us. You know how we roll, you know how the business is like. I mean, what kind of time do you want me to give her? I've got business to run, I've got things to do. I mean, I don't get it. I don't really get it. What are you driving at? Okay, fine, fine, I see what you're doing. You are trying to make me feel bad and justify her actions so no. she can put the blames on me? No, that's not the point here. But see, what's the use of all the money and all those zeros in your bank account if you don't give your girl quality time? Who the hell is this guy? I will tell you. But first, you need to calm down. Let's go inside. All right. You have such a beautiful mind, you know. You're so sweet and passionate. You are everything I ever wanted in a man. I'm everything you ever wanted in a man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Life. <sighs> Life can be such a mystery, you know. And why did you say that? <laughs> in everything you are telling me now, she used to tell me the same things on the same bed. Mm. That I'm everything she ever wanted in a man. Blah, 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 you know. But I'm not her. I mean, I'll never be her. I know, I know. I'm not trying to compare you with her. I'm not brooding over her. It's just that uh, I'm just happy the way we are lost in love in each other's arms like this, you know. I mean, appreciate the fact that you are here now after everything I've been through. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry you had to go through all that. But I'm here now, and I'm going to take care of you. Hmm. You're trying to make me feel like a baby. Of course you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sebastian. He is a painter and also handles graphic designs for an advertising company owned by Petra's friend Sukai. I believe Sukai might have a role to play in their hooking up. Sukai? I knew that lady never liked me. But what? That she would go to the extent of hooking my girl with another guy? I'm not sure of that. But my point is, play the smart guy and fix this whole thing without your girl knowing that you are aware of anything. How? I mean, how do I do that? Carry on normally with your girl, as if nothing is wrong. Map out strategies to sweep her off her feet with romance and just be the sweetest guy ever. How about this Sebastian guy in the picture? What do we do about him? I will get you his number. Invite him over. Have a man-to-man -man talk with him. You know how we roll. And I trust in your judgment. All right? Yeah, we do that. Hello, I'm coming. Hi. How you doing? So, 
Thank you. Yeah. Um, I hope I'm not distracted. Oh, you know, it's always a pleasure to have you around. Out. Yeah. So, um, I got you something. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. What's that? Um, I, I figured you'd be hungry, so I just got you something to eat. Well, that's so thoughtful of you. <laughs> Thank you. That's <laughs> at least so famished, you know. Um, so have you been? I've been good. Yeah, I was just thinking of you. Oh, wow. And then uh, I was about calling you when I heard you at the door. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I have something to tell you. Okay, so what's your good news? Okay, you know that painting? Mm -hmm. I'm done. Finally. <laughs> oh my god, you're kidding me. Yeah, right? I'm done. Oh, that calls for a second. Yes, tonight we should actually go out and yes, hang out, have some fun. Wow, you should like that. <laughs> yeah, come on, you should yeah, come see it. I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I'm still young and energetic. You know that. <laughs> Come on. Allow me to go and check what I'm cooking before. No. You cannot just spoil the show. I mean, you know what? Don't mind. No, whatever the outcome of what you're cooking, we two are going to eat it together. But I know if I leave from here, you and your friends will sit and analyze my <laughs> cooking and score me marks. Oh. That's meant for you. You know what? I just don't believe there is a woman who doesn't know how to cook. Of course, there are ladies out there that cannot still cook a decent meal. In this generation? And they expect to have good husbands? And funny enough, they are the ones that have the best husbands to themselves. <laughs> You. And I am indeed surprised. Why are you acting strange? As if it is the first time I'm coming to your house without pre informing you. Sweetheart, is everything okay? Yes. Like, seriously? What is happening here? What is going on here is you wearing my joggers and my t shirt in my boyfriend's house and calling him sweetheart. No, 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 no. My t-shirt and my joggers. Just the one you gave me when I spent the night here. I, I left them here. They are mine. I gave them to her to wear them because she is my guest like you were my guest. What am I missing? Sweetheart, you told me that you don't have a girlfriend. And who is she? Is she your elder sister? No, I am his mother in case you miss it, girlfriend. And I should be the one asking that question. I can't remember talking to you. And now I am talking to you. You better choose your next statement wisely if you want to respect yourself. Or else. Or ex what? Or ex what? Are you threatening me? It's, it's alright, it's alright. Are you threatening it's, me? It's okay. Uh, I mean, it's okay. Please, you have to leave. I, I will not let you talk to my guest like that. Say it. You asking me to leave your house? Yeah, you, we, we, talk, we talk about it, yeah, please. Are you serious? You had him, does the dog? Yes, it's all right, I'll, I'll take that, please. We will talk about it.
You are Sebastian, right? Yeah. Mr. Sebastian, you are playing with something that is really dear to my heart. Petra. Petra? You see, Petra is not just my girlfriend. She's the love of my life. She's the very reason why I exist. And it has come to my notice that you guys are hanging out lately. Yes, but she, she never told me she had a boyfriend. Mr. Sebastian. As a matter of fact, I like you. And I don't want you to have accident or bullet to hit you from behind when you're on a watch. Oh, come on, man. It hasn't gotten to this. I mean, I was just getting to know her. I mean, nothing really serious between us. I mean, stay away from Petra. And none of this will happen. And never you mention to Petra that we have such conversation. Have a good day. You have all the right in the world to be mad at me. I know. But believe me, I meant no harm. I was just trying to help you because I was so worried about you at the time. And this whole Petra setup issue, it was my idea. And I take full responsibility of it. I just want you to look at it from a different angle. I know you would have done the same thing for me if I was in the same situation at the time. I don't have a problem with you trying to help out, okay? But you don't seem to understand how betrayed I feel with Petra keeping this whole thing away from me considering how close we were. I mean, okay, I know she was trying to help out like you said, but I don't see it from that angle. I see like she was trying to use me to experiment how it feels like to be with another man apart from her boyfriend. That girl was intimately involved with both of us at the same time. I mean, who does that? I'm sorry about this whole Petra issue. For real. I mean, I just don't want us to keep fighting over this. When you're so important to me, and you know that. Come on, don't even start patronizing me. You know those kind of words don't move me. You already know I can't fall out with you because of this. I'm a little upset, that's all. We're brothers, man. Well then, why don't we go out for a drink? And it has been a while since we last hung out. Yeah, it really wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, life was gone after all, she's not the first. the nerve to come here after all that you have done I'm here to see my daughter which daughter look Ali came here to show some support as a father I mean I'm a father I have the right to see her that's my granddaughter you're talking about in fact they don't need you my daughter and her daughter have moved on they don't need you I'm not here to trade words with you Anyway, in case your daughter needs me, she knows where to find me. 
Let me tell you, they have moved on. She will never need you. They will never ever call you. In fact, they have started their lives. Look at you, useless man, useless painter, jobless man. Get out of my house. In fact, I, why should I even collect this rubbish that he's saying? I don't even know what it is, provisions. I'm sure it's rubbish. I don't need it, take it. You need it more. In fact, you need it more. You need, take it, take care of yourself with it, okay? Get out. Situation comes up in our lives A time you got to act Just for you to get along the line Everyone is in a gender Everyone has got a plan My ways, my thoughts, my plans Can never be the same as yours It might not see But it's all good to me What matters here the most Is how I feel I got a reason If you don't know me oh, Please don't judge me If you don't know me from Did you have to do that? I know you never liked him but he remains the father of my daughter, and you can't change that. Oh, really? You should be ashamed of yourself for putting yourself in such a disgraceful position. I never raised you to divorce your husband, did I? And that is the position that you are highly instrumental to. Yes, I wouldn't have found myself in this position if you had stayed away from my marriage. Huh? I accept. I went the extra mile trying to impress you. It was always about you. I you, you, mother. What is going on here? What is it? Can't I have peace in my home? What is it? You want to put on the roof of my house? What is, what is going on here? What is it? Hey, don't mind you stupid girl. <laughs> and you should be ashamed of yourself being the mother of such a stupid girl. Hey, did you just tell me that? Listen, listen, woman. I've warned you severely. Stay away from this girl. Leave her alone. But no, you keep pushing her. What's your problem? I knew you. I knew you take sides. You never for once stand up for the truth, do you? Did you just say that to me? Yes, I did. Like father, like daughter. you to tell me everything that I need to know about you. Everything about me? Just in one night? Mm -hmm. Ask me what you want to know and I will tell you. Well, I might not be able to ask you everything that I need to know about you. Yeah. But there are certain things you should not hide away from your partner. I want to know you. I want to know you very well. I don't want surprises from you in the future. I don't want you to tell me that I never asked you and that is why you didn't tell me. Now I am asking you to tell me everything that I need to know about you. All right. You know my surname and you know where I came from and you also know that I have two sisters.
welcome home. <laughs> this is a collection of my artwork. Beautiful. Yeah. And then this I call one people. But these are flowers. Yeah, they are flowers. Um, but you know, flowers are made up of different colors. Just like different people around the world, different races. Okay. Such a genius. Your paintings are so unique and creative. Come on, I'm just trying to do the little I can. You mean all these are crafted from this head? Stop trying to blow my mind. I'm not. Wow. Oh. <laughs> you know, with all this that you've got, you should live large. What are you still doing underground? Yeah, uh, a lot of people actually say that to me, you know, but you know when they say talent alone is not enough, you know, like one thing is to be creative, another thing is to know how to convert your creativity into money, you know. I mean, I can't be good with everything, you know. <laughs> I know, I know <laughs> how to paint, maybe a little bit of graphic design, but then marketing has, has always been a problem, you know. <laughs> you need a marketing agent. Mm. Okay. You need someone to manage you. Marketing agent. How does that work? Good. We need to make some money, baby. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I am a sales and marketing consultant. Okay. You can employ me and I would work for you. Okay, so now we are talking business. Yeah, baby. <laughs> but okay. I will not take much. You pay me on every major sales I do. Just 30%. 30%? Uh -huh. yeah. It's not much. Come on. I can't even part with more than 30% for my baby. You know? Yeah, but we need to do some paperwork to sign some agreements. Yeah, and arrangements. Yeah, a lot of agreements and some paperwork has to be done. Why is that necessary? It is necessary. Yes, very important. And necessary. Okay, business is business. Mm -hmm. Just in case sometime you're tired of me, you just want to kick me out of your life. Uh -huh. That paperwork and agreement will keep us together in the business. Ah, uh -huh. you're smart. You're such a smart girl. <laughs> that is why you love me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have not yet. Fallen fully in love with me. Who <laughs> says that? But don't worry. Very soon, uh -huh. you will fall completely in love with me. Uh-huh. <laughs> you are so smart. Am I? Mm. You know, there's something about you that I can't just do without. I don't know what it is. I guess I'm glued to you, you know. <laughs> I have my magical powers. Oh, no. <laughs> see, 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 see. see I'm gonna touch you. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart. Yes, babes. 
I'm worried about my sister. Worried? Yes. I think she's falling in love with your friend. Okay. And what about that? Don't you want her to fall in love? Of course. I want her to fall in love. That has always been my dream for her. She has never taken any guy seriously. Hmm. But since the day she met your friend, she has not for once stopped talking about him. Hmm. And you know her. She has a fragile and gentle head. And I don't want her to be hot. Babes, I think um, I'm rather more worried about my friend because he has gone through a lot lately and I definitely don't want him to experience anything that will stress him up again and that man is just shot and anytime he falls in love he, he usually falls so deep falls in love yeah. what about you have you ever fallen in love with anyone before yes my beautiful one. Come on, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about your past. I would say yes, but that was a long time ago. Okay, tell me about it. I think right now it's not the time to talk about that. Maybe another day. There's this art merchant in town. His name is Tony Kanan. Tony Kanan? Yes. Okay. I had a business meeting with him and I showed him samples of your artwork. He wow. is so much interested. Wow. He huh. wants to buy. Already? Yes. You mean you're setting up business meetings already? Yes, he wants to pay raw cash. You mean this guy is ready to pay cash? He is an international buyer. Wow. And he knows the worth of your artwork. Hmm. I'm impressed. Really? Okay, and not forgetting the portraits that I've said, like the important personalities, their portraits. So you could work on them ASAP. Yeah, but I, I need to understand more about this art exhibition you're talking about. The importance of this art exhibition is to create a socio-political platform for all these personalities to come together. Wow. Like, it is something big. That is why all I need you to do is concentrate and work hard. Wow. So we could make some money. Hmm. If it's to give you the paintings, trust me on that. That's my job, it's what I do. And for What's the marketing that? side, leave that to more. You know you're such a creative genius. Am I? Mm. Oh. It's not like I'm just getting to wake up. I mean, where have you been all my life? Around the world. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed.
What if I beg him to take me back? I feel like I did, didn't beg him enough before we got divorced. I don't think you know what you are saying. Even if he still cares about you, like you assume, it is not going to be as easy as you want it to be. Everything is possible, Dad. I just want to try. There's no harm in trying. Okay? Consider his family's position in this very matter. <laughs> Do you think that any family will support their son into remarrying a woman he has once divorced? Come to think of it, do you remember that the two families had a lot of issues and quarrels during your divorce process? Now tell me, how are you going to start repairing all the damages done? I don't know, Dad. I don't know. I'm just so confused, Dad. I don't know what to do. I tried to move on without him. <laughs> Nothing I do seems like working. <laughs> Listen, everything will eventually fall into place for you. Come on, you are still very young and beautiful. <laughs> Soon, someone is going to come to you that will make you happy and make you to forget about all that has happened yesterday. <laughs> okay? I know so, don't worry. Everything will be fine. It's alright, okay? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be alright. Alright? Hello? Oui, ça va? Tu vas bien? Oui, tu es où là? Mm -hmm. Quoi? 5 millions de dollars? Juste 5, mais ça c'est petit. Ok, 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 j'arrive, j'arrive. Ok. Ciao, capo. Ciao. How are you? Fine, Sophie. Remember the painter I was telling you about the other day? He's on his way right now. But I won't be able to attend to him because I have other business meetings I have to attend to right now. So when he comes, please do attend to him. And if anything goes up, just give me a call, yeah? Scheduled to meet with uh, Mr. Tony Kana. Yes, he's my boss. I'm sorry, he's not available right now, but he asked me to attend to you. Okay. Please have your seat. Okay. Okay. This is Ciao capo, uh, ho visto il dipinto, sì, sì, e mi piace tanto, è di gran qualità, sì, dovremmo effettuare il pagamento. Ok, va bene, va bene, grazie, ciao, ciao. The quality is standard, and I just spoke to my boss, he said I should make your payment. Why are you following me around? Just hear me out, please. 
If the woman asks you to stop, you stop. If she tells you, I don't want, it means she does not want. If you force her against her will, it's called rape. I came to you for help, and you took advantage of my situation and forced me to bed. I cry and pleaded, but you still wouldn't listen. I even told you I was pregnant, but you still continue. What kind of a man does that? You were so lucky. I did not press charges against you. And now you have the boldness to be following me around like a tail and preaching me about love? Jaya, I want you to stay away from me. Fanta, I didn't know. I did not take you serious when you told me that you are pregnant. When you came to see me, I thought you came because you missed me and you were going to leave him for me. How on earth would you think of such a thing, Yaya? I was happily married. How could you think that I would leave my husband and come back to you? I only came to you because I needed help and you took advantage of the situation. I am sorry. I know there is no justification for my action. I know I was wrong. I know I was stupid. I was arrogant. I was selfish. I was inconsiderate. I was whatever I was, Fanta. But I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. Forgiving you, Yaya, would not change anything for me. But do you know what you can do for me? Just stay away from me. But I can't. I can't. I want to remedy all the damages I have caused. I mean, Fanta, I want you to marry me. Are you sick? Do you need a cure or something? Are you sick? Are you out of your mind? Do you know what, Yaya? I'm done talking to you. Fanta, please, just hear me out. If you push me, I will kill you. I want you to know that I never hated your husband. My ex-husband, mom. Whatever. I just wanted somebody to take good care of you. Not a painter. And he called himself an artist. Oh, I don't understand, mom. Why are you telling me all this? Your father blames me for your failed marriage. And I know you do too. You refuse to stay away from my marriage. And I was constantly living to impress you. But nothing I did was good enough for you. And I was such a fool listening to you. No, you're not a fool. Your only mistake was going back to your ex-boyfriend, Yaya, for help. Okay, fine. I agree. So now, why are you telling me all this? What's the whole point? The point is, it's been over a year now. I think you should move on. Who say that I'm not moving on, Mom? I'm doing just great. Well, I see the way you resent Yaya anytime he comes around. But I think he means well, you know. This is unbelievable. Mom! Are you making a case for Yaya, the same guy that raped me, after he knows that I was married? Be Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I need to feed my child. So I'm sorry I mentioned it. I'm sorry. Everything is happening like a dream. I mean, I can't believe everything is happening to me like this right now. Do you know that this guy is willing to make payments for even the paintings I've not completed? I mean, the one I'm still working on. Wow. Well, life is so that with patience, you can get whatever it is that you want. Yes. I mean, looking at where you came from to where you are now. You know the story. As the saying goes, Rome was never built in a day. Yeah. I mean, and there is no smooth path to success. There have to be some hurdles to overcome. Yes. But with the patience, alhamdulillah, you are here, you are today, you know. 
Yeah. All thanks to you too. I mean, if you didn't introduce me to Salome being your girlfriend's sister, we would be here today talking about this success story, you know. We are just more than friends. We are brothers and we should be each other's keeper. Sure, sure. And talking about Salome, Salome is a very good woman. Oh, she's just awesome. I mean, the moment she saw my paintings, she fell in love. I mean, she took it upon herself to do marketing for me, setting up meetings for me to meet with buyers. I mean, she's been so awesome. You are destined to meet Salome. She is the game changer. Everything happens for a reason, you know. And Sebastian, I've been wanting to tell you this for some time now. Fanta said she wants to talk to you. She wants to see you. Fanta? Yes, Fanta. What could she probably want to talk about? I mean, we have nothing left between us. But I want you to give her the opportunity to speak her mind. I mean, you wouldn't know what she wants to say about you. I mean, don't feel bad, but then I've organized for her to come and meet you today. I mean, she should be on her way coming. No, come on, Zedi. Why would you do such a thing? I mean, Salome is on her way here. I told her to meet me up here. But I didn't know that you were supposed to meet Salome. And besides, um, this woman has been following me, disturbing me lately. That she wants to see you and see her something that she has with you. So just please give her the opportunity to speak her mind. Please, if you do not do that, you wouldn't know what she wants to share with you. What do you want? I can see that you make your dream come true. I saw your car park outside, exactly like your dream car. Congratulations. It's too bad that I could not make this dream come true with you. That was your fault. I'm smart. You made your choice the moment you decided to betray me with another man. You got what you deserved. You're correct. But I just can't stop myself from thinking. Have you ever truly loved me? What kind of stupid question is that? Sorry, pardon my manners. I just can't understand how you can just throw me out of your life like that and move on easily what was i supposed to do now the pains of your betrayal forever i did that for several months while you were pregnant i stood by you yes i stood by you and took care of you even while i was nursing the pains of your betrayal but you know that's the part that baffles me how can you do that? You know about the incident from the very first time, but you still loved me. You still take care of me till I put to bed. I loved you from the very start till the end. Yes, I knew about the incident when it happened, but I decided to stay quiet about it because I don't want to hurt you and the baby. I did that because I loved you. So, any other question? Have you ever sit and wonder if she is yours? Our daughter? Yes. Is she mine? Yes, she is. I don't doubt that. And I think it will be good if you can check on her sometimes. At least for her to know that she has a father. I came checking on her. But your mom embarrassed me. She wouldn't let me see you and her. 
I'm sorry about that. I was not there. It's okay. How have you been? She better not ask. Hi, Zadie. Hello, Yeah. How have you been? I'm good. That's good. Cool. Yeah. And where is Sebastian? Sebastian, Sebastian is having a meeting with someone else. Ah, okay, don't worry. Let me surprise him. No, no, you can take a sit and wait for him. Don't worry. He'll be back very soon. I will surprise him. But why? Why did you do it? Why did you go to him? We needed money. I just wanted to help. I didn't go there to sleep with him. He forced me to bed. I know nothing I say will justify what I did. But I'm sorry. I miss you. I do. Talk to me. What happened? It's my fault. It's my fault. It's obvious that he's in love with her. How do we get here? No, you don't have to blame yourself for anything, okay? Yes, it's obvious that they are in love. Okay, fine. In fact, they are planning to get married very soon. Okay? But that doesn't mean you have to cry yourself out. Life still goes on. I just want him to be happy. That's all I ever wanted. Fanta, I said, you do not have to be blaming yourself here. You know, what is meant to be has to be. Okay? So life still goes on like I said. Forget about this. It's okay. Can you do me a favor? Yes, what is it about? Can you please help me with her number? I want to explain to her that there's nothing between me and Sebastian anymore. And I want them to be happy. It's all right. You will get him. It's all right. Stop weeping. It's not worth it anymore. Okay? This is not your fault. You can't blame yourself for this. This is meant to be. Please. No need to weep.
So what are you trying to say? I don't think I'm ready to do this. I mean, I know you've been good to me. You've been perfect in every way, okay? This is not about you. It's about me. So, uh, I need some time. I need some time to figure out myself. I need some time to... to just get some clarity, you know? I don't want you to take this in a wrong way. It's not like you're breaking up or whatever. I just, I just need some time, okay? I need to know if I'm ready to walk that road again. I mean, um, please. I just need to give me some time, please. Can you really hear yourself? Sebastian, you know what? Just take me home. comes up in our lives A time you got to act Just for you to get along the line Everyone is in a gender Everyone has got a plan My ways, my thoughts, my plans Can never be the same as yours It might not see But it's all good to me What matters here the most Is how I feel I got a reason If you don't know me oh, Please don't judge me If you don't know me from the start Please don't judge me just like that Judge me not, judge me not I got a reason Judge me not, judge me not Many a times when you see me smiling, shining You envy me so bad and you wish you were just me You think all is so fine with me But deep down in my heart I wish I could live life again I wish I could see the sun To be loved again I wish I could make you see The part of me You never I was not expecting this. It's a pleasure to be here. Welcome. Thank you. And where's the baby? Um, she's sleeping. Oh, she's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> I still don't get it. What is that is going on? I mean, suddenly my ex-wife and my fiancé becomes best of friends. I hope you guys are not trying to set me up. <laughs> hope I'm safe. <laughs> she know you are safe. Mm. Very safe. You're the father of my child. So, I mean, well for you. And I know Salome, too, means well for you. So, just relax. Wow. How about taking both of us out for a dinner? Dinner? Yeah. 
Like no way. having both of us on your dinner table would be mad fun. No, no dinner. No dinner, please. Come on. No. You know, she's been saying we should come see you all this way. Like she wants us to come see you. And then we're just coming back from an engagement party and she's like, we must be here. Then here we are, now you're talking dinner. Come on, no. <laughs> Why are you shying away from it? Whether we want it or not, we should accept it. Very soon, I will be your daughter's stepmom. And it's like mom, stepmom, and dad. I know. Uh. Someone promised me that if I am back with Sebastian, she would do anything I ask for. Yeah, anything but not dinner, please. You said anything. Yeah, um, yeah, I think um, that would be a nice idea. Let's, let's have dinner together. Yes. Come on, have dinner with me. Okay, but just this one time. No problem. Hence you accept. I'm so happy. Wow. Wow, this is, this is getting interesting. <sighs> I mean, I'm just trying to picture how that table will look like. I don't know. It's <laughs> mad fun. No, it's kind of like awkward for me actually. It's mad. I mean. it, it will be like mad fun. Like it's a reunion of the family. Many a times when you see me smiling, shining, you envy me so bad and you wish you were just me. You think all is so fine with me. But deep down in my heart, I wish I could live life again. I wish I could see the sun to be loved again. I wish I could make you see the part of. 